They claim to be nice guys, but we all know they're not. Welcome to this episode of Nice Guys. Our first one is from Bayamenet31. I know you're probably like, great, another random message. <laughs> but honestly, I'm not like most guys messaging you. I'm not just trying to get in your pants or nothing like that. I was just seeing if you wanted to talk and get to know each other. If not, that's fine. I understand. But if you like nice guys that are gentlemen, who are old school in certain ways, such as opening doors, bringing you flowers, and are respectful, message me back. I'm not asking you to trust me after one message, just asking for the opportunity to earn your trust. Like I said, if not, no big deal, but it was worth a shot. Anybody can say they're a nice guy. I could say I'm president of the world. It doesn't make it so. Actions speak louder than words, and maybe instead of opening up like you're willing to be a doormat, try to have a little bit of a backbone going forward. This next one is by CJLove23. What are the plans after today? Hey, been trying to reach ya. Fine, guess I can take a hint. You're one of them. What the hell? I just saw you're online. You were just on Messenger, but ignored all my texts. I see. I see. All I ever did was try and be a nice guy and give you your space that you said you needed to see if you wanted a second date. But apparently you just want space from me since you're probably talking to some fucking asshole who won't even give a shit about you in a week. You're such a liar. Don't even bother texting me back now. You could have just been honest that you weren't attracted to me or something, which would make no sense since you're the one who wanted to go out with me. All I ever did was be nice to you and treat you nice, so I don't understand why you're ghosting me all of a sudden. I thought you were different, but you females are all the same, so don't even bother with any excuses because I already have another date tonight and she's way prettier than you and doesn't have mommy issues. Well, considering the fact that you're texting her to try to rub it in her face, it's obvious that you're butt hurt that she didn't want a second date with you. Get over it. Go out on that date that you probably don't have because jealousy, well, in this case, isn't going to work. This next one is from I'm so hot for you to L. It's not untrue. Women do go towards pieces of shit, usually ones with issues, but that's most of them. Why is a nice guy here? We found a wild one. You know most women, eh? <laughs> Imagine being the exact kind of person a subreddit is directed towards and being blissfully unaware of it. Sorry, buddy. Being a woman myself, I can dub that as untrue. But you're in luck because this subreddit is directed towards guys like you. In all honesty, a post like this just sums up nice guys really easily. They are unaware of their not-niceness while claiming that they're nice and they're unaware of a lot of other things as well. Maybe one day they'll get the hint. This next one is by Someone Wickedly Evil. The fuck you want? Just wanted to say hey, can we text? Why? Because I miss the past. I don't. And I'm being a little baby bitch about things. I see. Am I supposed to care? I suppose not. Sorry for bothering you. Won't happen again. Hope you're doing okay. So you say, yet do every year or so. I promise to stop bothering you, for good. I can tell you hate conversing with me. Yeah, I believe nothing you say. Well, last time you asked for nudes, so I wonder why. Fun fact, nice guys, once you play your card and you show that you're not so nice, there's nothing you can do to change that, even with all the actions in the world because at that point, it's most likely a facade. This next one is from Oli Bona Yoke. <laughs> I'm so sick of girls who think they're too good to text me back, like I'm Lagit, the best boyfriend ever, but no one ever gives me a chance. If only you were in my shoes, you would understand. Shaking my head. <laughs> well, when you start a conversation with laugh my ass off instead of hi, how are you or something trying to get to know them, it's no shock they don't want to reply back because chances are they're trying to date a man, not a boy. This next one is by Curly Haired Potato Bab. Hi dear, thanks for the acceptance. I was searching for a friend when I stumbled on your profile pics. You look beautiful. Hope you don't mind, been a friend. Sin's pig. 
Get away, dude. Your vibe isn't right. Fuck you. Sends another pic. Animal fact. Possums don't give a fuck about you or your opinions. If that isn't a surefire way to tell this nice guy no and to back off, then I don't know what is. Hopefully they took the hint. This next one is from ZJ Yeet. Hey, I'm a bit salty over this girl just leaving me when she felt like it, and she really broke my heart, so I would appreciate it if you could spam call her number, please. Kings, here's the number. Thanks. What the fuck? Bruh. And I'm starting to believe that maybe she did have a valid reason with scummy behavior like this. Yeah, this stuff is just weird. I'm actually the nice guy that always gets ghosted for the skinny smoking fuckboys. <laughs> You're probably ghosted for the skinny smoking fuckboys because you do stupid shit like this, like posting an ex's number on Reddit and asking people to spam call them. Who knows what else you do? This next one is by You Help From Above. So, what's your problem with nice, genuine guys? I don't have a problem with actually nice, genuine guys. Yeah, okay, Chad. You say I have a problem with them. How so? Please explain here why I'm the Chad. Chads are the men who monopolize the attention of the attractive females, leaving only less desirable Beckys for people such as myself. Just because we weren't born with chiseled physiques. You're Chad because you don't understand the suffering nice guys go through. The suffering that nice guys go through is 100% brought upon themselves by themselves because they can't see through the fact that they're obviously not nice and genuine guys because if they were, they wouldn't be crying on the internet. This next one is from CJLove23 and it's a follow up to the one earlier in this video. Whoa man, what the fuck? First of all, I was busy for the past few days. Also, I never went on whatever messenger you thought you saw me on, which, by the way, is creepy in itself considering we're not even Facebook friends. You've got issues for real, and I never said I needed space from you. All I said was I'd let you know when I'm free next, when you asked me out. I never asked you out. I'm starting to think you have me confused with someone else. No, you have issues. It wouldn't have taken more than 10 seconds to tell me you were busy. The fact that you couldn't even do that showed you just wanted to ghost me to be a bitch. Like I said, I was always nice to you, and you ghosted me for no reason, so just fuck it all. Go back to therapy to complain how your mommy left you when you were 10. It explains a lot, and clearly you need help since you don't know how to act in a relationship. Listen, Devin, I'm only going to say this once, and then I'm blocking you. You took me to your friend's house after asking me on a date so you could smoke up after I told you I quit smoking when I took summer classes. You acted like I wasn't even there. We didn't even eat. You go. That wasn't even a party. It was you and your bestie getting high and laughing over the dumbest shit. The fact that we had pleasant phone combos to where I opened up about my personal issues regarding my family, only for you to throw that back in my face, just shows me what kind of little boy you actually are. I'm super happy you found someone else prettier than me without mommy issues because she'll have way more to deal with having you around than personal home problems. Oh, and by the way, I didn't leave because I needed to send my boss something. I left because that was the worst and most pathetic date, if that's what you want to call it. I've had better dates when I was 13. And also, you stank up the room and your breath smelled like the elephant shit at the zoo. So enjoy your new imaginary girl. Fuck you very much and have a nice life, you complete and utter twat. Going back to my previous comment, even this person thinks this guy's date to try to make them jealous isn't even real. The jealousy doesn't work. When you bomb the date so bad like this guy did, <laughs> you're not getting a second one. This next one is by Tessa Does Reddit. Some other artsy indie girl type thinks I'm cute. I'm worried it's a trick though. Like, she's just trying to get something from me. Insecurity is lame. Says more about you than her if she's just tricking you. Also, isn't the same thing you're wanting to do to the land whale? Get some from her by tricking her? 
this chick isn't drop dead gorgeous or thin or whatever, but she seems nice, likes my art, has solid music taste. I'd like her. I dig her, but I'm scared. You've been whining this whole time about no woman wanting you. Now one comes along that does and you're going to kick that gift horse in the mouth? Just be nice to her. None of that nice guy incel -y shit. I legit don't see how she finds me cute. Like, what if she sees me in real life and changes her mind? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Even if you're hideous by society's standards, maybe she has an ugly kink. I don't know. Or maybe she looks past looks? More likely. I'm personally thinking I should ghost. I don't even know what to say face to face. I'm always better at texting. Or maybe you're one of those people that think they're ugly but boom, take off their glasses and stand up straight and now they're hot. Are you stupid or just dumb? I feel like I'm gonna blow it and my heart will be crushed again, like last time. Sends Link. Reminds me of you. I can never be hot. I have a lot of scars and craters in my face. Already established, that doesn't make you ugly. Fake news. People were hella cruel about my acne. This isn't high school anymore. Get over it. Doesn't mean I forget though. High school really fucked me. Oh. You're gonna let dumbass high school bullying keep you from possibly having a meaningful relationship with this girl? Pussy. She said she's going out with her friend. She's probably going out with some other douche. -ick. I'm realistically gonna get cucked. You're not even together yet, so that's not even cucking. Also, you don't even know that she's going out with some douche. Could be a friend. Could be a lovely guy. You're so pathetic, honestly. Just go on a date with her. Either it works out or fails. What happens if you don't? It fails or it fails. I don't do friends with women who reject me. It's cucked. Did I fucking ask? You said I could be a friend. I don't really see any use in female friends that treat me like an emotional tampon. I meant she could be out with a friend, fucknut. And an emotional tampon? What? That's literally what friendship is. Plus, I'm not being your emotional tampon right now. Listening to your dumb ass go on about how sad he is? Everyone needs to vent though. Yeah, and they have to be there for you too for it to be friendship. Someone venting and using you as an emotional tampon instead of both of you fitting in a diaper, I don't know where this analogy is going, isn't friendship, but something tells me that your emotional tamponness isn't as you say it is, and really, you're just whining that they aren't having sex with you. See, this person sees right through the nice guy. The nice guy that's clearly not so nice. I think they have a lot of issues they need to work on before they go into dating. And our final one is also from Tessa Does Reddit, and it's a follow-up to the previous one. <laughs> I got ghosted by a land will for a chad, even though we had everything in common. <laughs> I acted great around her, still ditched for a chad. Wow, you suck so much. Oh my god. You can't want body positivity for men, then turn around and call a woman who rejected you a land will. Personality is a meme. <laughs> I dropped 95 pounds. <laughs> I'm still not good enough. <laughs> nah, I'm out. I'm gonna go read my book instead of trying to help your whiny ass. I don't know why I wasted so much time on you. You don't want a discussion. You just want to complain about your looks and lack of partner. Get a dog if you want love so bad. They won't give a shit that you're ugly. You're the problem. Not all of society, dipshit. I couldn't have said that better myself. They said it exactly how it was. Hopefully it resonates with the nice guy and maybe they start evaluating themselves and look into making change where change needs to be made. But then again, nice guys, I don't know. Alright, that's enough nice guys for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Nice Guys. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.